Science 5, Quarter 2, Week 4, Modes of Reproduction in Animals. Animals cannot live forever. Like humans, animals also need to reproduce. They have also their reproductive system that makes them able to do such life process. Most of them perform sexual reproduction involving male and female animals. In this way, extinction is prevented and diversity in nature is maintained. Producing new animals may mean food supply to other organisms. It may also signal the continuous existence of certain species. This lesson will help you understand how animals produce their offspring or new young. Doing the activities of this lesson will direct you to describe the reproduction depending on the level and type of animals. Animals have the means to increase their number through reproduction. This is to preserve their species and to help in keeping the nature balance as they interact with other animals. Different animals have unique modes of reproduction. It, cannot, it can be noticed that some animals can reproduce in large numbers like insects, pigs, dogs, and frogs while some animals cannot. On the other hand, those big animals generally reproduce in fewer number. Learning task 1, encircle the, an the animals that can reproduce in large number. Then answer the following questions. What are the animals that can reproduce in large number? Why do you think they can reproduce in large number? What are the animals that reproduce in fewer number? And these are the answers. Mosquito, frog, butterfly. What are the animals that can reproduce in large number? Mosquito, frog, and butterfly. Why do you think they reproduce in large number? They reproduce through reproduction of egg. What are the animals that reproduce in fewer number? Cat and dog. Most of the animals like cats, dogs, butterflies, frogs, and the like need a male and female to reproduce. This is called sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is a process of creating offspring with the participation of sperm cell from male parent and egg cell from the female parent. Learning task number two, identify whether the following animals are reproducing sexually. Right to parents if the animal shows sexual reproduction, otherwise right single parent. Number one, dolphin. Number two, sea anemone. Three, housefly. Four, earthworm. Five, starfish. Six, horse. Seven, clownfish. Eight, panda. Nine, sponges. And ten, cow. And these are the correct answers. Number one, two parents. 2 single parent, 3 two parents, 4 single parent, and 5 single parent. 6 two parents, 7 two parents, 8 two parents, 9 single parent, and 10 two parents. Learning tasks 3. Study the figures below. The first picture shows a frog in its natural environment. The second picture shows a pregnant dog. Figure 1. Describe how a frog grows. Why do, they, why do you think the egg, eggs are found in the water? And what, where, do you fa, where do you think fertilization happens? Figure 2. Describe how a dog grows and describe their mode of reproduction. And these are the answers. In figure 1, the fertilization happens outside or external fertilization. And in figure 2, the fertilization happens in the mother's body or internal fertilization. Reproduction involves the transfer of characteristic of parents to their offspring or young. During fertilization, genetic materials like DNA are shared by the parents to produce new organisms that may either be possessing unique characteristics of or having an exact copy of what the parent has. In sexual reproduction, new animal with a set of unique characteristics is 
reproduce. This means that the offspring is quite different from its parents. Sexual reproduction always involves the presence of sperm cell and egg cell. These two cells carry the genetic material from the father and mother respectively. Dogs, cats, mosquitoes, and butterflies reproduce sexually. Among these animals, sperms, sperm and egg cells meet in the or inside the body. This is called internal fertilization. Unlike among frogs, they also reproduce sexually, but fertilization occurs in the water or outside the body. External fertilization happens when both male and female frog release sperm and egg in the water to form fertilized eggs. For learning task number four, think of two animals that, have, that can reproduce sexually. In the first box, draw an example of an animal that exhibit internal fertilization or fertilization of course inside the body. And in the second box, draw an animal that exhibits external fertilization or fertilization of course outside the body or in, uh, in the outside environment. And this is an example of an answer to that activity. Animals may also reproduce asexually. Asexual reproduction only needs one parent. Most common activities under asexual reproduction are budding and binary fission. Budding happens when a new animal is produced through outer parts of the parent. Aquatic animals like hydra and jellyfish are doing this process. On the, on the other hand, binary fission, which is performed by sea anemone, occurs when a parent animal divides into two. It means one animal or parent results into two new individuals. In general, animals may reproduce sexually and asexually depending on the species. Generally, higher species or complex organisms perform sexual reproduction while those lower species or simple organisms shows asexual reproduction. Different modes of asexual reproduction are budding, binary fission, fragmentation, and parthenogenesis. When we say parthenogenesis, it is a form of asexual reproduction in which an egg develops into an individual without being fertilized, while fragmentation is the breaking of an individual into parts followed by regeneration. During task 5, study each picture in column 1 and each picture shows the parent animal and its offspring. Complete column 2 by comparing the parent animal and its young and column 3 by describing their mode and type of reproduction. And these are the correct answers. For the cow, comparison with unique characteristic, then mode Mode of reproduction, internal, and type of reproduction, sexual. In duck and duck mean, with unique characteristic, mode, internal fertilization, and type sexual reproduction. In planaria, with same characteristic, mode, fragmentation, type asexual. And tapeworm, with same characteristic, internal fertilization, and sexual reproduction. Fertilization inside and outside the body are two general modes of sexual reproduction. The expected offspring may have separate or single sex or combined sexes depending on the species. Unique individual possessing different characteristics produced in sexual reproduction because the genetic material of the parents are blended or combined. Through the process, the offspring is thought to give sexually reproducing individuals with greater fitness to be mechanism to survive and reproduce in unpredictable or changing environment. On the other hand, a sexual reproduction produces offspring that are genetically identical to the parent because the offspring are all clones of the original parent. A single individual can produce offspring asexually and large number of offspring can be produced quickly. Learning task 6. Based from what you have learned in this lesson, indicate the advantages and disadvantages of sexual and asexual reproduction in animals. You may use books and other references for your answer. Copy the table and answer it. And this is the answer to that activity. 
Sexual reproduction, the advantages are it produces variation in the offspring and the species can adapt to new environment due to variation which gives them a survival advantage. And the disadvantage are time and energy are needed to find a mate and it is not possible for an isolated individual. While a sexual reproduction advantages, only one parent is needed needed and it is more time and energy efficient as you don't need a mate. While the disadvantages it does not lead to variation in the population, the species may only be suited to one habitat. And that ends our lesson about the modes of animal reproduction. Thank you for listening. Bye!